Local elections are happening in Warwick District on the 4th of May 2023 for the election of councillors to Warwick District Council, as well as local town and parish councils. It's important to vote in these elections. Your local councils are responsible for services such as refuse and recycling collections, parks and open spaces, licensing, planning and conservation, food safety, housing, benefits, and many more services. Voting in local elections is an important way to make your voice heard on the issues that matter to you. The way you vote can influence how services are provided for you. Here's a quick run through of all the information you need to know to vote in this year's elections. If you're not sure if you're already on the electoral register, you can call us on 01926 4 56 105 or email elections at warwickdc.gov.uk. If you're not already registered to vote at your address, you'll need to do this by 11.59 p.m. on Monday the 17th of April. It only takes five minutes and all you need is your national insurance number. To register to vote, visit gov.uk slash register to vote. Due to a change in the law, you will now need to show an accepted form of photo ID when voting at the polling station this May. There are around 150 forms of ID that can be accepted, including a UK or Northern Ireland photo card driving license or passport, an older person's or disabled person's bus pass, a blue badge. A full list of accepted ID is available at electoralcommission.gov.uk slash voter ID. If you don't have one of the accepted forms of ID, you can apply for a free voter authority certificate. You'll need to apply for this before 5 p.m. on Tuesday, the 25th of April, 2023. Your poll card is now an A4 letter and will come in an envelope like this one. It tells you everything you need to know about the election, including where your polling station is and what you need to bring with you. You don't need to take your poll card to the polling station, but you will need to take an accepted form of photo ID. Please ensure you have your photo ID ready to show the poll clerk when you enter the polling station. You'll be asked to verify your name and address, and you'll then be given your ballot papers. Depending on where you live, you'll have a ballot paper for the district council elections, and a ballot paper for your town or parish council, if they are also holding elections. Follow the instructions on the ballot paper and cast your votes, for the district council elections, in most areas you'll be able to vote for more than one candidate. Fold your completed ballot paper and pop it in the allocated ballot boxes. You can apply to vote by post if you're not able to make it to your polling station on the day. You don't need to provide photo ID when applying to vote by post. You can return your postal vote to a polling station if you need to, and you won't need to show ID to do this. The deadline to apply for a postal vote is 5pm on Tuesday the 18th of April. Your postal vote must be received by us by 10 p.m. on Thursday, the 4th of May. Proxy voting is when you nominate someone you trust to visit your polling station on the day to cast your vote for you. This person will need to be able to attend your polling station on the day and will need to show their accepted form of photo ID to be able to cast your vote. The deadline to apply for a proxy vote is 5 p.m. on Tuesday, the 25th of April. For further details about all the things we've covered in this video, including deadlines and application forms, visit warwickdc.gov.uk forward slash elections 2023.